Hey there, bike blogger here. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a square taper bottom bracket and square taper crank. It's raining outside, so if you hear any uh, sort of noise, background noise in the video, that's because it's raining, and it's been raining for the past five or six hours. Uh, so we're going to do some bike maintenance here. So here's the bottom bracket. It's a VP BC73. It has a shell width of 68 millimeters and a spindle length of 118 millimeters. It's a thread type of uh, 1.37 inch by 24T. So first step, uh, I just took it out, so I'm going to clean it. I'm just gonna, you'd take like a rag or something and just sort of maybe clean the threads. Um, there's probably better ways of doing this, but I'm just, doing it sort of quickly because I got to get to bed because I need to ride this bike tomorrow so I need to get this done now um, so I just had to clean that off uh, and then there's this other piece the cup let's clean this off real quick just sort of get the dirt or whatever out of it good enough all right so first thing we're going to do with this we need to grease it so let's grab some grease I'm using uh, just some basic Bicycle grease or just grease basically. This is the Park Tool PPL1. So just get that on the threads here. Use gloves too. It's a good idea. Use gloves. Don't make a big mess. Uh, can't ever have too much grease. So, uh, well, actually, um, different people have different opinions about that how much grease you should use on things. Just make sure you get all the threads. Um, it's just going to prevent water intrusion and keep things running well. Uh, you should probably pull the bottom bracket every, I don't know, six months or whatever and do this anyway. Um, like I said, plenty of grease. I'm going to hit it again. Plenty, plenty of grease here. Just get a bunch of grease on here. Okay, now that it's nice and greased, we're going to use the uh, bottom bracket tool to put it on here. This is the Park Tool BBT-22. It's got, uh, I think, 22 notches here. It fits in the notches here on the bottom bracket like this. And we're going to obviously start with the big piece of the bottom bracket. The other piece of the bottom bracket is this little uh, placeholder cup thing here. Uh, so we're going to start on the drive side. This big piece goes on the drive side. That's the side with the chain. So we'll just, we'll just start it off here with our fingers. And you can see there's threads in here too. Um, we'll just slip it in like that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna just do it, with, like I said, with finger strength, with our fingers. And then uh, we'll start using a tool. So just feel, make sure you got it. Now the right, the right way to turn this is on the drive side here with the chain is counterclockwise. So that's, that's the right, left, right, left, right. Okay, I'm confusing you. Turn it counterclockwise <laughs> on the drive side. So here we go. Just take your time. You don't want to be stripping any of the threads. If you strip the threads, you're screwed. You're going to have to buy a new bike frame. Don't do that. So we're just getting on here finger strength. And now the problem I had, the reason why I was having a knocking noise on this bike was this was not tight enough. So now I can't really go any further with my fingers. Um, so I'm going to use a tool. So what tool do you use? Well, you just you got this bottom bracket tool in here, and you just use a, a wrench, get it on there, and just do it as tight as you can. Or uh, if you know the manufacturer's torque spec, you can use a torque wrench. That's what I'm going to do here real quick. So I don't actually know the, um, the proper torque spec. Link in the description below. These are Park Tools recommendations for um, torque, how tight. You put things on, bolts and whatnot, and bottom brackets. It says here for bottom bracket cartridge types, which is what this is. It's not a, a not adjustable fixed cup or whatever. This is a cartridge type bottom bracket. It recommends for a Shimano bottom bracket about 400 to 600 inch pounds. Um, and then for other brands, it's got different, uh, different suggestions there. Uh, now, my torque wrench uses Newton meters. So it says 400 to 600 inch pounds so upwards of 600 inch pounds this is my park tool torque wrench it's a very nice fancy torque wrench i must add uh it's in newton meters and on the back here this is the by the way this is the park tool tw6 on the back here it's got a conversion here for you so if you're going about 500 
inch pounds, that's almost 60 Newton meters. I mean, it's pretty much maxing out this torque wrench. Thus, like I said, you pretty much want to get the bottom bracket on there as tight as you can. So first thing we do is we unlock this by pulling down here. And then we're just going to keep twisting it until this red indicator here goes up to basically uh, 60. So I'm just going to twist this. Hang in there with me. Almost there. It's starting to get a little more difficult. Just the way that this instrument works. We're getting pretty high. So we're almost pretty much, pretty much at 60 there. You can see the little red indicator. Pretty much at 60. So now I'm going to lock it out by pushing up on this torque wrench like that. So it's a ratcheting uh, wrench, basically. And obviously you've got a ton of leverage here. So this little piece here sticks into the bottom bracket tool right here, like this. And to stick it in there, lock it in there, you're just pushing this button here. Grab onto it, let go of the button, and it should attach. There, yeah, yeah, there it goes, it's pretty good. Yeah, let's line it up here actually, with the hole there. There we go, now it's locked on there. And now we want to go, like I said, over here, we want to go counterclockwise, so to the left, that way. And to do that, I need to move this lever here to the left, and we will be tightening it. So I just line up the notches here again, like that, and we're just... We're just going to keep going like this until I fear, feel a click in this uh, tool here. So. All right, so I, uh, I've gotten this on here as tight as uh, can be. Uh, I was just pushing down on it here, and it, uh, it sort of clicked. It didn't go any further. Hear that click? I don't think the uh, camera really caught it, but there's a little click when you uh, go as far as it lets you go. All right, so now let's get the other side of the bottom bracket. Let's just get this thing done here tonight. All right, so here's the other side of the bottom bracket. Let's go ahead and grease it up. This is just the left side, the, the cup on the left side. Let's get the threads here. Hit the threads there with some grease. Get those threads nice and greasy. Again, this is to make it so, you know, you can sort of prevent water intrusion and uh, to um, make it a little easier to get it off so it doesn't seize up on you. So, just get, I want to just, just want to get in all those threads. I, I still need more grease, it looks like. I'm not getting down deep inside all of those threads. You want to make sure you get them all. That's why, like I said, you know, plenty of grease, plenty of grease. And in fact, um, I'm going to grease the inside too. I don't know if this is really critical or anything, but I want to get the inside too. So I'm going to hit that, grease it up in there, nice and greasy. All right, again, we're going to go finger strength with this. We're going to slip it on here. Now, on the left side with this cup, you want to turn um, clockwise, so to the right. So let's go ahead and do that feel for it, you know, get a feel for it, you don't want to force it, it's going in real nice and easy now, I'm just doing it with my fingers, I'm going to need the tool here in a moment, reaching the end, let's just go ahead and get the tool, let me uh, wipe off my hands here real quick, so we almost got the bottom bracket back in now. Let's grab that tool. It's still set on the proper setting, which is 60 um, Newton meters. And we're going clockwise. Let me, do, let me actually just take this off here for a second. Let's just go ahead and keep screwing it in. I know this is a long video, but I really want to show exactly what you do. I'm going to put it back on the torque wrench here. We're going to go uh, clockwise up to 60 newton meters. So you just get it lined up with the. Oh, I guess swap this back. 
lined up with the notches. I'm gonna go clockwise. All right, it's clicking. Woo! Ah, it's clicking there, so I've reached 60 newton meters. And basically, that took quite a bit of strength. Basically, like I said, uh, just wanna get the bottom bracket on as, hard, as tight as you can get it, pretty much. Um, all right, so next up, we're gonna install the crank. We're done with the bottom bracket.